Hundreds gathered at the state capitol to protest against U.S. involvement in the Israel-Palestinian war. This demonstration is part of an ongoing series of protests to call for a ceasefire and to end USA to Israel. Jarrell Ballard has you covered on how this war continues to impact those here in Wisconsin. While the Israel-Palestine war is happening overseas, its effects are still being felt right here at home. It's very heartening as somebody who is a Palestinian to see people come out and show that they are supporting and they recognize, which it feels hard to say, but like the basic humanity of my people and the base community of my family members. Students for Justice in Palestine at UW-Madison organized the protest on Thursday in hopes of pressuring lawmakers to call for peace in the war. I myself, I'm Moroccan, one of my best friends. He's like my brother to me, he's Palestinian, so I, I, I want to come out here and support him so, and support the co uh, cause in the country. During the protest, demonstrators used chalk on the ground to outline the number of people who lost their lives in the war. Uh, we're trying to show, kind of give like a visual idea of the terror that's been happening in Gaza, the terror that's been happening for families, for mothers, fathers, and for ultimately children. Jalal Ahmad walked more than 80 miles from Milwaukee to be here in protest for peace. I started the walk uh, Monday the 6th of this month uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning and I just arrived here like an hour ago. We all just came together at once chanting for peace and that's what we need. Students for Justice in Palestine say this gathering marked one of the largest demonstrations they helped organize to date. Stop the crime. And they don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Reporting in Madison, Jarrell Ballard, 27 News. According to the Hamas run Gaza Health Ministry, at least 10,800 people have been killed in Gaza. More than 26,000 have been injured.